just for stable view, not just for eventing in Aiken, but for eventing around the world. This is a very special moment here. And uh, one of the main reasons why we're gathered to do this is because Barry has a, a vision about eventing all around the world, but particularly here in Aiken. And uh, we wanted to, for a moment, recognize and say thank you to all the eventing organizers in the area and mention you by name, because you're all part of the same team, you're all part of the same family. And uh, this is just a new member to the family. And we're so proud of this world-class facility that uh, Stableview is quickly becoming. So we'd like to recognize uh, Kathy Howard from Hopeland Farm, Lenny Ward from Paradise Farm, to Laura Anderson from Full Gallop. Do we have Julie with us? Julie Sapapas from Jumpy Branch. And uh, yeah, you, you folks are all part of a, a very crucial, integral part of eventing in Aiken. And not only is this the first ever advanced competition in Aiken, but Aiken's eventing history goes back a long, long way here. And uh, we're going to hand the microphone over to your host today, and I uh, VIP host. Uh, he uh, wears a lot of caps. But uh, please say hello to Barry Olaf. Hey, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, this is uh, this event couldn't have happened, and the interest in Aitken wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for Joanna. And I think it was 26 years ago. I might be wrong. She's about to correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I think it was about 26 years ago that the first eventing event occurred here. Uh, and I thought it would be nice if she said a few words because she and we have become good friends and I just think that rather than us be the center of the stage here, it'd be nice to hear from the person who got us into this position in the beginning. organizer. I am so blessed to have her as well. And 26 years ago, uh, the bars only sold small bottles. And <laughs> there were racehorse people, polo people, and horse show people, but not a lot of any. And um, I saw this as a dream winter location. And I can't thank all my fellow organizers for creating the atmosphere and the ability to have competitors come here and have so many different horses to jump. It's important to our winter colony and our area in general. So thank you, fellow organizers. And Barry, this is the most beautiful setting, and my dream has been for the last 15 years, when we even hit Mayor's course, and I bless you and wish you a wonderful weekend on this inaugural event. It's absolutely wonderful. Warm up now on deck in front of Thanks, Jane, very much. Well, without more ado, um, I think the time has come to use the Chamber of Commerce. Wait, 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 Barry, one second. We, we have, we have the trophy that we just received. Oh, the trophy, the trophy, no trophy. But moving quickly on, we can recover. The, the, tr I, the trophy was for 26 years of... The longest continuously running for a Okay. Thank you. She's good, isn't she? <laughs> The longest continuously running horse trials in Aitken. Anyway, on to the next part to cut this, uh, this tape. You guys must be getting on there. Um, it's uh, very much down to the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce scissors, the Chamber of Commerce tape. Thank you. Really great to have you here. Really appreciate it. 
And now the trick is to see if this actually works and if the scissors actually can be good enough to do the job. So um, let's see how we go. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here for this uh, special honor. Let's get back to the competition. <laughs>